A spiritual awakening is an incredibly individualized and transformative odyssey towards a more profound comprehension of our individuality and the rationale behind our existence. It involves introspection, re-evaluating our philosophies and principles, and seeking a deeper connection with something beyond our day-to-day -day lives. It's an inward journey that pushes us past our mind's constraints, directing us towards a heightened state of consciousness. Everyone's spiritual journey is distinctive and personal, but it often commences with a sense of dissatisfaction in our lives. We may feel as though there's a void, a need for something more substantial, as if our spirit is longing for something more than the mundane, something that cannot be fulfilled by materialistic accomplishments or superficial victory. This sense of dissatisfaction marks the onset of our spiritual awakening, the first phase of this extraordinary journey. Such a feeling of discontent varies from individual to individual and may manifest in different ways. Some might feel hollow, question their life's purpose or feel disconnected from others. For example, a feeling of being stuck in a job that doesn't provide personal gratification can lead to professional discontent, leading to questions about one's purpose in their career. Similarly, personal situations like losing a loved one, going through a breakup, suffering from a severe illness, or experiencing a traumatic event can drive someone to question life's meaning and seek deeper answers. We begin to question our existence and wonder if there's more to life than daily struggles. We come to realize that worldly achievements like financial success or social status don't offer the lasting happiness we once assumed. Hence, discontent often serves as a catalyst prompting us to challenge the superficial aspects of life and impel us towards a deeper, more significant search. The quest for answers, meaning, and something larger than ourselves often sets a person on the path of spiritual awakening. It's the initial spark that lights up our desire for inner exploration and spiritual growth. We understand the need to delve into our inner world and our quest for enlightenment, the answer to our call. Enlightenment refers to the moment when our consciousness enlarges and our perception of the world changes, revealing a more profound and meaningful reality. During this stage, those on the spiritual journey experience a significant and transformative awakening. Reality is perceived in a brand new light as if our vision has been clarified, making every facet of life brighter and more meaningful. Enlightenment prompts a fundamental shift in our life perspective, Spiritual values become life's center and the pursuit of inner growth, serving others, and contributing to a more compassionate world become priorities. Illusions crumble, and we begin to comprehend the true nature of reality, understanding that life goes beyond superficial appearances. However, this journey can also include moments of resistance when we confront our fears, doubts, and uncertainties. These are moments when we question our ingrained beliefs and the thought patterns that have shaped our lives till now. At this stage, we might experience anxiety, confusion, and even disorientation. But resistance is a crucial element of the spiritual awakening journey. A spiritual awakening is the stage where we start to discover our authentic strength, marking the path of enlightenment and transformation. It is here that we find resilience in our vulnerability, where the soul confronts its own internal tumult and the quest for deeper understanding meets opposition. Amid the whirlwinds of change, we grapple for stability as our prior certainties are swept away and everything appears chaotic. The sense of solidity vanishes and the soul feels adrift. Yet, it is within this turbulence that true inner strength begins to blossom. We uncover a resilience previously unknown, and the uncertainties and challenges metamorphose into fertile ground for personal growth. The storm, therefore, serves as a determination test because, in the end, as the internal storms abate, we emerge with a fortified purpose. We recognize that our inner quest is worthwhile. After confronting resistance and internal scuffles, we reach a deciding stage often represented by an abyss. The abyss symbolizes the leap into the unknown, leaving behind the security of old certainties. Yielding to the abyss is an act of courage and faith in the process because it's here we delve deeply into our inner truth, shedding the layers of ego and illusions that enveloped us. 
At this stage, we might encounter moments of solitude and isolation since we're on a personal, singular journey of self-discovery, confronting the inner shadows unveiled in the process. This solitude serves as a catalyst for spiritual growth. It's the moment we begin to face our own shadows, fears, and insecurities, which I perceive as an opportunity for inner reconciliation, accepting all parts of ourselves, even the ignored or rejected ones. It's an experience of spiritual rebirth where the old identity is discarded, facilitating the emergence of a newer, more genuine one. We embrace transformation and comprehend that the abyss is a gateway to a heightened level of awareness and understanding, even a deeper comprehension of life's essence. After encountering the abyss, we reach a state of profound connection, comprehending that separation is an illusion and everything in existence is intertwined. This stage of oneness is characterized by a deep sense of unity. We no longer perceive ourselves as solitary beings but as integral parts of the entirety of existence. We understand that every human, creature, and nature element is an indispensable part of this enormous whole. Understanding unity ushers in unconditional love. At this stage, we not only love others but also ourselves with a love transcending the ego, extending to all life forms and the earth itself. We begin to perceive ourselves beyond human conflicts and divisions, recognizing the harmony underlying diversity. This expanded view deepens our life comprehension. We start integrating the understanding of unity in our daily lives, living according to principles of love, compassion, and respect for all life forms. As we become more attuned to our connection with life's deeper essence, we recognize that life is filled with purpose and meaning. We start noticing signs and synchronicities more distinctly, meaningful patterns in life events occurring at the perfect time, and coincidences that can't merely be chance. We begin to flow with life's rhythm, and we no longer feel like we're constantly battling against the current. As we continue to trust that the universe supports our path, we feel in harmony with the entire universe and acknowledge that every challenge, opportunity, and encounter is part of a bigger plan. It's a stage where our intuition becomes our trusted guide, and we learn to trust our inner voice, following the impulses that lead us in the correct direction. At the stage of greater perception of signs and synchronicities, we experience a deep inner peace. This is because we understand that we are exactly where we are supposed to be and that life is unfolding according to a grander plan. With this new perspective, we realize that the true purpose of life is to be who we genuinely are, not who others expect us to be. This is the stage of authenticity, where societal masks and layers of conditioning are discarded. Here, we leave behind the roles we used to fit into external expectations and present ourselves to the world without reservations. Authentic expression becomes a priority. We no longer fear judgment or rejection because we understand that our authenticity is more important than someone else's approval. We no longer blindly follow external teachings but trust in the wisdom of our own heart. Here, we express our truth with courage and compassion. This is an act of acceptance of the inner self. We become friends with our own essence, embracing the parts that might previously have been rejected. And we understand that imperfection is also part of the beauty of life. We feel that our purpose is simply to be who we genuinely are, to live according to our values, and to share our unique light with the world. After embracing our inner truth, we enter the stage of elevation of consciousness. At this point, consciousness expands beyond the boundaries of the ordinary mind, and the spiritual quest reaches new heights. Here, we perceive the universal unity even more deeply. We understand that everything is interconnected on a more subtle level than before and that consciousness is intertwined with the entire universe. We understand that our journey has a greater meaning and that we are here to contribute to the evolution of consciousness. At this stage, we transcend the ego more completely and don't just identify with the individual self but recognize the higher self which is beyond limited identities. We also develop a deeper understanding of reality. It's like climbing a mountain. When we reach the top, we have a clearer view of the whole. 
In the same way, the elevation of consciousness is like climbing a spiritual ladder step by step towards a broader and deeper view of existence, allowing us to see the nuances and beauties that previously went unnoticed. We begin to understand that life is a combination of our will and the will of the universe or God, as you prefer. This is the moment when we recognize that creativity and co-creation are expressions of our divine connection, and that we are active partners in the manifestation of reality. This is the stage of collaborative co-creation, where we tune in to the creative source of the universe. Here, we understand that inspiration comes when we are aligned with universal wisdom. Creativity becomes an active connection with something greater. It's a stage that involves the conscious manifestation of desires and intentions. This is where we learn to direct our energy deliberately, manifesting what is beneficial for ourselves and for the whole. We begin to see ourselves as agents of positive change in the world, understanding that our creativity can be directed towards the greater good, contributing to the evolution of consciousness and the well-being of humanity. We seek to continuously improve our creative skills, and we learn to manifest our intentions more effectively and with greater ease. The ability to co-create is like tuning into the frequency of universal creation, where the human mind unites with divine intelligence. It is an advanced stage in the spiritual journey where we become aware that creativity is a direct expression of the connection with the source of all existence. This is where we learn to direct our energy and intention consciously, understanding that our thoughts, emotions, and actions have the power to manifest the reality we desire. So remember, co-creation is the act of bringing into existence that which is beneficial to oneself and to the whole. Our choices affect not only our own lives, but also all existence since everything is interconnected. So being aware of your actions becomes an integral part of your spiritual journey. Be deeply grateful for the ability to co-create and strive to serve the world with your creativity. Expressing gratitude is also a way of honoring the divine source of all creation. We then plunge into an ocean of unconditional love understanding that love is the essence of everything and the force that sustains the universe. Unconditional love is not just a feeling but a way of being. At this stage, love flows freely without barriers of separation or limitations. It manifests itself as compassion, where we feel deep empathy for all forms of life and understand that suffering is part of the human condition. A strong desire arises to alleviate the suffering of others and contribute to their well-being. Forgiveness and acceptance become pillars of existence. We forgive ourselves and others, releasing any resentment. We accept life's imperfections and find beauty in vulnerability. At this stage, we transcend the dualities of the mind. We understand that unconditional love embraces all polarities and that truth is beyond divisions. After all, love is the bridge that connects all things. So remember, we are all one. Each being is an expression of the same divine love. Each of us is on our own spiritual journey, and these stages are like signs that remind us of our infinite potential. So embrace this journey with humility, gratitude, and love. Thank you for embarking on this journey with me. If this video resonated with you, I invite you to like and subscribe to our channel. Share this video with others so they can benefit from this message. And don't forget to leave a comment below sharing your thoughts, reflections, and experiences. Thanks again for watching and for joining me. Take care and see you soon.